uh, I hope that the sharing of my uh, uh, PowerPoint uh, works in the big blue button. But uh, start the introduction and then yeah. come yeah. back. <laughs> and next time I'll be in Karlsruhe, I will visit um, uh, the ZKM as well again. And uh, um, the, the Retro Games IFA, which moved to a new, new space, and which is much larger than the former space where they had to get out. And, and they have an amazing collection. I've been there once, amazing collection. You have to go there if you haven't been there. Okay, Christian Vater. Uh, Christian Vater, um, I know him, I think, since three or four years, uh, but now, um, 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 since he finished his PhD um, at this, uh, in, in Karlsruhe, um, um, he is now the coordinator, uh, coordination lead of the NFD, NFDI for Culture Consortium and postdoctoral researcher in digital humanities and in the Digital Academy of the Academy of Sciences and Literature in Mainz. Um, the NFDI for Culture, um, Christian will um, tell us about that, is a very important institution, especially for a digital humanities researcher when it comes to research data management and all questions concerning this. And the question where computer games are put uh, or, or information uh, that the digital humanities uh, collects from computer games are uh, brought to perhaps to the NFDI for Culture. So Christian will tell us. Um. Let's start by sharing my screen. Thank you very much for the introduction. Um, I hope uh, I never use big blue button. That is the problem. Uh, that's no problem. Let, let me help you. Um, you have a little icon uh, beneath the camera button. And if you yeah. let you uh, can choose from whatever you want to share with us. Yes. Uh, then I just share the whole Bildschirm, the whole screen, and uh, uh, then I navigate. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. And now. Yeah, it works. Beautiful. So I don't see you anymore. Uh, so it's uh, <laughs> blind driving by now. Um, thank you for the introduction. Uh, I'm here to give you a, a little bit of insight into one of the most complex. Um, um, infrastructure frameworks we have uh, in Germany in our days. Um, the most important information for you, I guess, is this. We have a help desk and a Kickstarter. I hope the QR code works. Um, if you have questions or if you um, have a proposal for cooperation or if you just need, uh, need a little bit of help, um, to get other proposals more clear, you can always uh, come to us. We have cookies. What um, do I want to talk about? Um, you get some information about what the NFDI is, the National Research Data Infrastructure. Uh, what is more specifically NFDI for culture, a consortium in the structure. Uh, then you get three case studies of pilot projects that uh, are part of our consortium. I tell you a little bit about our task areas and services, uh, a little bit about the co-working tools we work with, and uh, a tiny little bit about our governance um, if you want to become engaged. So first. We all know digital data is essential. I skip this. And the uh, uh, National Research Data Infrastructure um, was built up uh, uh, to uh, tackle this task. Um, it, um, yes, uh, has been developed since uh, 2018 and is still in development today. In the first wave, nine consortia were funded. One of them, uh, the C in the middle here of this uh, um, net uh, is for culture. And it was the only um, um, uh, culture and humanities consortium for research data in the first phase. In the second phase, um, October 2021, 20, uh, 19 consortia were funded. And now we are two. Um, Humanities Consortia together with Text Plus. The next step uh, will be up to 30 consortia. And if we are lucky, 
we get uh, a quadruple um, completed. Uh, so together with NFDI for objects and for memory, we can um, uh, cover all pos pos uh, possible um, uh, research ideas and um, cross-cutting uh, topics in the humanities. You see, if you ask uh, how these consortia are sorted or um, um, uh, microstructured, um, we follow roughly the DFG taxonomy. So um, you have to sort things uh, somehow and um, the consortia are sorted uh, like the DFG uh, labels projects. So um, this whole complex structure um, is um, um, society of its own, a Verein. Uh, I haven't found a good translation for the German concept of Verein uh, until now. It's uh, not a club, it's much more than that. And um, that would be um, a theme for a different talk. What is NFD for culture? Um, mostly people. The consortium was built up um, by uh, working closely with our communities and um, it strongly follows an agile way of self-organization. It's very dynamic and those are not buzzwords. Uh, after six months, I can assure you it is really the case. We are there mainly for the commun uh, communities of architecture, artistry, musicology, theater, film and media studies, hence the invitation today. And um, the um, co-applicants are um, um, all over Germany. And I'm working at the Academy um, uh, of Ty uh, Sciences in Mainz because it was the um, central application institution. Part of um, the uh, network of uh, Fachgesellschaften, scientific communities, are uh, digital humanities in deutschsprachigen Raum and the Gesellschaft für Medienwissenschaft, hence the invitation today. International relations we care for um, are sometimes very interesting. Uh, we uh, work together with UNESCO, with the Getty Research Institute, with the International Council of Museums, with the International Association of Music Libraries, and so on. And um, we are one of the um, um, agencies at the table when um, some new structures are discussed, like uh, a new data set or data scheme in the uh, GND. What kind of research data is processed in NFP for culture? I brought three examples. One um, from art history and architecture, Die um, Frauenkirche Oberwiesel, UNESCO uh, World Heritage, um, uh, digitalization of the church, and semantic annotation um, in a complex way. Um, following existing metadata standards, of course, and always with long-time uh, data storage in mind. Another uh, from the performing arts motion capture, um, um, it's a research framework for motion data in dance. Or from mus uh, musicology, um, the Bernd Alois Zimmermann Gesamtausgabe, here the Requiem. Um, very interesting because uh, the mixed media, Ivo Christ. So um, the consortium tries to sort all this and uh, coordinate all this so that multimodal data types can be matched at the end of the day. And um, everything could, in principle, work together. The task areas doing this are um, um, structured um, in um, a um, uh, in the idea of the research data life circle. So um, if you have a problem with data capture, go to TA1, a standardization, data quality operation, a task area two, research tools and data service, task area three, data publication, data availability, task area four, 
a task erfüllt, overreaching technical, ethical, legal activities with a legal help desk, and TA6, uh, cultural research data academy and qualification and training. And uh, circling all this is the TA7, governance administration, where I am working. Um, you see, if you see this, um, yeah, uh, research data life circle, um, main principles we try to follow are uh, fair and care. Uh, these sets of uh, maxims you should uh, work uh, along. Yeah. Um, in the consortium, there are a lot of cross area teams and working groups that uh, work agile together. And we all try to coordinate uh, digitalization, in, uh, always starting bottom up with the uh, 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 um the problems that the community. Uh, tries to solve. Uh, to solve. Um, I can rush through the task areas. Um, I told you a little bit about uh, starting with annotation. Um, um, maybe interesting here, one of the co-applicants is uh, the Tipanufa with the um, uh, Open uh, um, Knowledge Lab and um, um, a strong connection to the Wikidata, Wikibase, Wikimedia community. Uh, we are stakeholders uh, of the Wikibase stakeholder group, if that's uh, uh, for interest for anyone. Um, tier two here, um, um, vocabularies, um, thesauri, data quality uh, are cared for. Three, a tools and service registry that is built up now, uh, starting with radar for culture in a few months. Um, um, publication problems, a long time storage, always for complex data types, uh, connection to the whiskey community, um, overreaching infrastructure with um, yeah, the culture information portal, the culture knowledge graph, um, um, where the KIT in Karlsruhe is heavily, uh, with the FITS Karlsruhe especially, um, involved. Uh, the legal head desk, uh, often mentioned, um, then tier six, Data Academy seven. Most important for you, I guess, is the Kickstarter. Communication collaboration tools for people involved in the consortium. Uh, first, we have a um, complex working environment with a very uh, a safe ecology, uh, a next cloud, yes, yalla, yalla, yalla. Uh, most interesting is um, we have 300 people in the rocket chat, uh, all um, interested in cultural data and um, uh, an open project system that is top notch. Um, it's always, uh, it has edges. Um, it is an edge that you have um, as a spokesperson a development uh, guy. Okay. We have a um, complex uh, identification and um, uh, Zugriff, Steuerung, uh, AI architecture. Um, I skipped that. And um, at the end, everything will flow into the cult uh, culture knowledge graph. Um, you see different things like tools of, out of the registry, multi-model publications, reference storages, um, frameworks for legal and ethical advice, a semantic discovery, and so on. Governance is complex. To rush through, um, the main governing body is our cultural steering board. Um, and uh, this has to be highlighted. Um, the communities we represent um, have the voting majority by one. Uh, these are the people uh, who hold the seats at the moment. And we have an advisory council for a long time guidance and uh, um, the big picture ethical questions like uh, uh, how do we decolonize um, uh, cultural data if necessary? Or questions like uh, how could diplomacy uh, be involved if there's an international problem? So, and uh, these are the people who are elected uh, to our advisory council 
at the moment. It is led by uh, Frau Professor Dörte Schmidt from the um, uh, Hochschule Künste Berlin. So, coming to the end, wrapping it up, talk to us. Here's the QR code again, and uh, the, um, yeah, if it doesn't work, uh, the URL. Um, you can write us to this, um, um, yes, uh, uh, generic email address, and you can always write me personal. Um, thanks for your uh, aufmerksamkeit, whatever.